Hey there. So upon hundreds of users request, we have developed Microsoft 365 Dynamics CRM automation app on make.com. So now you can use this app on make.com on invitation basis and the invitation request link is available in description of this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how this entire app works, what all modules are covered and how you can automate your complete Dynamics CRM requirement end to end for each and every module, be it leads, contacts, accounts, any sort of segmentation, all the modules are available more than 200 different modules are there and i'm even going to show you what all actions and triggers are available on this app so here we see uh, this is microsoft dynamics 365 only currently crm module is available and upon request we can even build other modules like sales or the marketing stuff now once uh, you install this app in your make environment you will have to establish the connection so it's simple you'll just provide the connection name uh, you will have to require the client ID and client secret. So we have provided a complete separate guide how to generate this client ID client secret through your Microsoft Azure app environment. Then you will have to provide the uh, organization base URL. So base URL is something when you log into a Dynamics 365 CRM, you will get to see this dynamic URL for your organization. So you will have to provide it here. And finally, you will require a validation key. So that is uh, something we will pass it to you. Now once done, uh, you can use all the modules. So you can simply search the required module. Let's say if I search accounts module, or in case if you do a blank search, it will give you the list of more than 200 modules. So let's say currently for uh, demonstration purpose, I'm using accounts. Then you'll have to use uh, the sub module. So here also I put accounts again. Now this will give me uh, all modules sub module related to accounts itself. So let's say account. And now this will populate list of all the fields available with account module. So let's say uh, all these address, address one, address two, a different kind of other mappings. So everything is available over here. Now just for the demonstration purpose, I'll quickly create a dummy account here. So I'll say M square automation solutions private limited. And I'll just pass it OK. Now with this, I'll disconnect this link and let's run this. So this will create, uh, automatically create the M square automation solution account in Microsoft C uh, Dynamics CRM. Now here we go, let's check it out whether this account is created. So yes, you can see it now here, M square automation solution account is now created. So that's how you can uh, map this particular module and you can uh, use it for different type of automations. Now along alongside this, uh, you can even use different triggers. So let's say there is a trigger for watch a new record or instead create automatically records, disable or enable any record or even uh, search records, get details of a particular record or even update records. So let's say we have already uh, seen the uh, create record module. Now let's say if you want to search specific records within a CRM, so you can provide different type of queries to search a specific set of accounts. So let's say I go for search account. Now under account, here there is an opportunity to build or there is a facility to build query. So here I can say, let's say if I want uh, the top five account, right? So I can simply say top five account. And if I search, if I run this module, this will give me list of the top five account available within dynamics so it can be based upon a certain sequence like a creation date or something else so now this is the latest account created and these queries can be uh, fully customized so you can go to a particular microsoft uh, query page and it gives you different type of queries so in case you want to search let's say contains query and with start with or there are so many different combinations available so you can use any of them to get your data populated Right, so this uh, five accounts we got from, uh, right. In case if you want to use something called update record, so here is this something called update record, and you'll have to provide again. You'll have to select which module you want to update records under. So I'll say account. Now for update record, it will require you to pass that particular record ID. So let's take this particular record ID from here. Now this can also be dynamically mapped with your uh, previous sequence. So let's say in case if you want to map it from here that we can do else we can even manually feed this and let's put this identity. So this is nothing but the sub module. Here I put an account 
and now this will populate all the field for account section so let's say if in case i want to update the address line so i say address country is india asia and even if i want to uh, let's say put uh, address telephone one some random number is there something more about address i'll say maharashtra and that's how i'll simply so this is our update module i'll just run this here <coughs> so here uh, the update function is done let's go back and check whether it's updated so you can see here maharashtra is updated under the state and province so that's how you can even update record any of the field any of the values available across uh, each of the modules for any of the records and this can help you to build a complete comprehensive scenario for uh, and connect these modules so in case if you want to implement this uh, microsoft dynamics 365 crm automation uh, do let us know fill this form get invitation try it yourself and for a full fledged in, uh, full fledged implementation our team is there to help you out so uh, thank you very much for watching this entire video thanks a lot